Are y'all sure y'all ready for DDD? for my last show of 2008 getting ready for 2009 i have a whole bunch to go through with you today i want to let you know what my top um what my top uh, albums of the year were and what my top uh, movies of the year were and what i'm looking forward to in 2009 and i want you to leave with something very inspirational to bring you into 2009 because i just love when i do stuff like this so let's start it out now my top seven albums of the year let's start from number seven brandy her album, Human, great. I love Human. That's my seventh album. It came in seven. She has a great album. It's put together very nicely. It's really talking about her heart. I have a review. You can go back and look at my Brandy review. Number six was Neo. Neo had a great album, You're the Gentleman. came out in September. I also review that. Go back and look at some of my old shows. Beyonce. I have a whole show full of a whole Beyonce review. You can go back and check it out. I am dot 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 Sasha Fierce. Great album. She's number five. Number four, I put Michelle Williams with Unexpected. Unexpected was really overlooked. August, it came out, and it was very overlooked for the year, and I really, really feel for it. I love Michelle. I have a lot of shows about Michelle's album. Go out there, cop it up, Michelle Unexpected, number four. I gave number three to Solange. Solange got number three because she came in with her album, Soul Angel and the Hayden Street Dreams. Really good uh, album. She really put her heart and soul into it. Really a soulful album, 60s. Got a 60s, 70s type groove to it. I do some uh, episodes about that earlier on in my show. I also have a show about my number two, Jasmine Sullivan, um, which her album came out, Fearless. Fearless, Jasmine Sullivan, She has she's up for some Grammys, uh, about five Grammys this, this year. Jasmine Sullivan really, really has a great album. I couldn't stop listening to it. Mary Mary is my number one. I have a whole show, uh, episode 17, about the album The Sound. That's my number one CD. I love Mary Mary CD, The Sound. It's a great CD. It is the number one CD out this year, hands down. Mary Mary, top gospel. It's a gospel CD, but it's great. Go check it out. Excellent CD. Has David Banner, has uh, Kiki Sheard on it. Excellent album. The albums that I'm looking forward to in 2009, I talked about Tiana Taylor. Looking for Tiana Taylor. Let's see what she comes out with, with her Harlem, Harlem groove and stuff like that. She's coming out. Sierra, I'm looking forward to seeing what she's coming out with. Um, in 2009, Rihanna, she's supposed to be due out with something in May. I'm looking forward to that. Kelly Rowland's supposed to come out with something. We're going to look forward to seeing Kelly Rowland come out with her third, uh, her third uh, release out um, mid-season, sometime around there. Fred Hammond, I'm looking forward to see Fred Hammond come out with something new in 2009. Bow Wow, he's supposed to be coming out with another CD in 2009. And also Jay-Z is releasing an album in 2009, which I'm really looking forward to also. My top seven movies I'm going to go through real quick. Number seven was Doubt. Number six was Eagle Eye. I just saw Doubt. Really good movie. Go check it out. It's out right now. Eagle Eye. I finally got to see it. Excellent movie. Five is Indiana Jones. I went to see that three times in the regular movie theater. I still got to get it on DVD, but it's a good uh, good uh, movie. Iron Man came in number four. Hancock was tied with Sex in the City at number three. Excellent movies. Um, the Family... That Praise, Tyler Perry Family of Praise is number two. That movie is good. I can't wait to get that. It comes out on DVD, I think, January 16th. I'm going to be promoting it on here next year. And number one is Batman, um, The Dark Knight. I saw that movie three times in the regular movie theaters, and I saw it one time when I was on my honeymoon in Chicago in the IMAX theater. Woo! I love it. Batman, great, 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 great. So those are my, and I'm looking forward to, in uh, 2009, I'm looking forward to the Wolverine movie, the Wolverine Origins movie, Obsessed, which comes out with Beyonce in April. I'm looking forward to Medea Goes to Jail, which comes out in February. The Dance Flick, the Lance Brothers movie, it's making fun of all, like, the dance movies, the parodies of, like, Save the Last Dance, Step Up, all that stuff. I can't wait. comes out in February. The Pink Panther 2 comes out in February. It's not going to have Beyonce in it, but I'm still going to go try and see it. Um, Notorious comes out in January. That's going to be a good one. I know that's going to make a lot of money. 
Uh, it's the life story of the Notorious B.I.G., Biggie. You know what I'm saying? It's coming out uh, then, Friday the 13th. They're making a remake to that that's coming out on Friday the 13th in February. Go check it out. Street Fighter. Um, it's called The Legend of Chun Li. The Legend Chun Li is coming out. Um, it's coming out in March, I believe. Street Fighter, a movie. That's going to be awesome. And there's going to be, I'm just putting it out there. Disney, it's going to make a lot of money. So I'm putting it out there. Hannah Montana movie. It's going to make a lot of money. They're also coming out with a Jonas Brothers 3D movie. Um, I think that Disney is doing that too. So go check those out. Enjoy. Now I have to leave you on a wonderful inspirational note. I've been on MySpace a lot this year and I've been going back and forth. And one of the friends that I have on MySpace, his name is Donnell Duncan. He also had a book called I Curse Death. And um, it really is a very inspirational book. But he had a very specific question, which I just read um, today, which came from one of his um, right, what one of his uh, subscribers as a friend. And her question was, hi, Donnell. Hi, Donnell. How do I launch out into my vision when I'm not sure what it is? Now, if you remember a couple episodes ago, I talked about your purpose and your destiny in this earth. So this really stuck out to me. So I'm going to try to read it as quick as I can because i got to get it done in 10 minutes. So it says, hi, Giovanna. Thanks for writing. Let me start by saying that I know you know the basic answer to your, to your specific question. Of course, you can't launch out into your vision without knowing what it is. So I'm assuming that your question is rhetorical. And your real question is, how do I discover my vision? I'll now proceed to answer that question. It says in Job 33, 14 through 18, For God speaks again and again, though people do not recognize it. He speaks in dreams and visions of the night, when deep sleep falls on people as they lie in their bed. He whispers in their ears and terrifies them with warning. He makes them turn from their wrongdoing. He keeps them from pride. He protects them from the grave, from crossing over the river of death. God has spoken to you about your vision before. He has a myriad of options to choose from in order to get your attention. He has used several already. As the scriptures say, he speaks again and again. He uses dreams and visions. He whispers in your ear. He changes situations. He, pres he, pre he preserves your life from danger. He does it all. After all you've gone through in your life, you may know specifically what you're supposed to do, but you have some kind of idea. It says in John 10 and 27, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give you them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. The problem that most with most people is that they can't hear from God. It's out of their it's out of all the voices that they listen to. They can't distinguish which one is God. The more voices you allow to speak in your life, the more confused you'll be. I learned to hear from God when I was cut out when I cut out the competition. Now in the face of opposition from some of the wisest people, I can't stand secure in the vo I can stand. He can stand secure in the voice of God. God has already given you a vision. So have the people around so have the people around you. Your parents have a vision for you, your friends have a vision for you, the media has a vision for you, you have a vision for yourself. Some aspects of these visions agree and some greatly differ. So you have to make the decision today to let one voice rule and cut out all the background voices. You start discovering the vision by obeying God's written vision for your life. Obey God. What does the Bible say? If you love him, keep his commandments. When I live right, I hear God clearly. When I sin, I'm on my own. He's speaking, but there is all these background voices. Do everything according to the Bible, even if it's uncomfortable or unpopular. Do it even if, if other Christian people don't. You don't need a crew. You need Jesus. So I'm going to skip now to the end where it says, uh, it's your choice. Good. I assume that you made the right choice. I'm going to tell you the secret now. God gives every person a specific vision and common sense says that he has to enable you to do it. Therefore, we were each born with specific talents and deep passions to carry out the vision. So if you can discover your true talents and your passions, you are on your way to discovering why you are here on earth. So it says you can start today. You guys get out here. I'm telling you, 2009 is going to be a great year for everyone. Um, get out here. Start pursuing what you have to do. I'm doing what I have to do. No matter how many subscribers I get on YouTube, I'm doing what I enjoy to do. I like to do this. I'm going to keep doing it as long as I am here on earth. So I'm going to keep doing what I do. Y'all keep doing what you're doing. Have a great year of 2009. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in 2009. Happy New Year's.